Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Naturally NWA. My name is Eric Eby and today I'm going to show you guys around Bentonville. Bentonville is one of the most sought after cities to live in in Northwest Arkansas. So I thought I'd give you guys a tour of some of the most popular areas to show you what it's like to live here. Let's go! So here we are on the historic downtown Bentonville Square. Now those of you guys who have seen my previous videos may already be familiar with uh, a lot of this, what this area has to offer. But something you may not know is that this building behind me uh, was the original five and dime that Sam Walton opened in 1950. Um, it was a very unique concept at the time because it was the only the third uh, self-service variety store in the United States and it was actually the very first one to open in Arkansas. Today this five and dime has been turned into a uh, Walmart museum that celebrates the history of Walmart and uh, here on the bottom floor they've got a, a little ice cream parlor that you can get a scoop or two of your favorite ice cream to go so you can stroll around the Bentonville Square. So here we are just a few blocks off of the Bentonville Square um, and we're standing here in front of Peddler's Pub, which is a very popular uh, bar here in, in Bentonville. Um, it's right off of the Razorback Greenway Trail and just a few blocks from the Slaughter Pen Trailhead. Uh, Peddler's Pub, their name pays homage to uh, the biking community here, both uh, cycling and mountain biking. And this is a very popular bar that a lot of people come to. They ride their bikes right through here. Um, and let's go check this place out and have a beer. Why don't we? Come on. So now I want to take you guys to one of the coolest attractions in Bentonville, which is Crystal Bridges Museum. Crystal Bridges is one of the most amazing art museums in the country, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's go. Crystal Bridges Museum sits on 120 acres and has walking trails and art installations all throughout the woods. Currently, the North Forest lights are on display on the outside trail, so be sure to check that out. Now, the design of the building itself is pretty amazing as well, as it incorporates two spring-fed ponds and lots of glass walls that add to the ambiance of the museum. There are new installations that are brought in throughout the year, so be sure to check out their website at crystalbridges.org to see what's coming up. Right across the street from Crystal Bridges is the Scott Family Amazium. If you have kids, you're probably going to want to get a membership to this place because your kids are absolutely going to love all the cool interactive exhibits that they have here. They do have certain time blocks for sessions that they are open each day, so be sure to check out their website for hours. Right now they're unfortunately closed for the day, so I can't take you guys in there to show you what's going on, but trust me, it's a really cool place. Now I want to show you guys something that might just blow your mind. Let's go check this out. Believe it or not, the building behind me isn't the county jail. It's the Walmart home office. You know what? I was shocked the first time I saw this building because I would have thought that the largest company in the world would have an amazing cutting edge building, not an ugly brick building with almost no windows. Kind of looks like a high school gym or something like that, right? Now the current big wigs at Walmart got together a few years ago and they decided that they needed to upgrade uh, to stay competitive with the Googles and Amazons of the world to be able to attract and recruit top young talent. So there's actually an entirely new campus being built on 350 acres right in the middle of Bentonville. The new home office will open in phases starting last year through 2025 and they'll feature a child care center, spaces to connect with nature, food trucks outside of each quad, and much, much more. It's pretty much the complete opposite of what you see behind me. So now that I've given you guys a tour of the downtown and central areas of Bentonville, you probably are wondering how much does it cost to live down in this area? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kinda drive us around in the, uh, in the area within a few blocks of the square to give you an idea, an idea of what the homes down here look like. Homes, condos, and townhouses look like. We've got single family homes, condos, and townhouses of all sizes and price points down here. Most of the homes have been uh, remodeled or completely torn down to make room for more newer modern options. Uh, this area is very desirable 
and the price per square foot is significantly higher within a few blocks of the square than anywhere else in Northwest Arkansas. And it ranges from about 180 a square foot to about 380 a square foot for single family homes. The houses that have been completely remodeled and renovated and new construction options within a third of a mile or so of the square are gonna range from about $550,000 up to one and a half million. The older homes that would need to be renovated or torn down range from a $200,000 to $500,000 mark. When you're talking about condos, the average cost of a condo or a townhouse within a few blocks of the square ranges from about $375,000 to $825,000, and you'll get about 2,500 square feet on average for that. It's important to note that once you get more than four or five blocks off the square, the price per square foot drops off pretty significantly. So what did you guys think? Bentonville is definitely a great place to live and I certainly recommend that you check it out. If you have any additional questions about the local area or maybe want more information about the real estate market, please feel free to contact me. All of my contact information is listed in the description. So you can call, text, email, or connect with me on social media. If you like this video, be sure to click on the subscribe button and watch out for more episodes. Until next time, I'm Eric Eby with the Curtis Realty Group at HomeQuest Realty, and I can't wait to show you more of our beautiful area on the next episode of Naturally NWA. Thanks for watching. <laughs>